It's a means for survival for many of these rural women. Many of the craftspeople, especially women, are the sole wage earners of their families. We have identified the problems of unemployment in our country. We have identified the socio-economic consequences created by the apartheid era, and hence we are using visual arts and crafts to help curb this problem. The center has a rich history and heritage. It's been a refuge for many since the dark days of racial discrimination and segregation known as apartheid. The African Arts Centre played an important role during the apartheid era. It used arts and crafts to bring people of all races together and it, it was used as a medium of communication in a divided society. It continues that vision of creating an enabling environment for the sustainable development, promotion, preservation of local African arts and crafts with special focus on KwaZulu-Natal. But more importantly, it's an only way for these women to carve their living. I'm able to put bread on the table. My children can study. With the skill they imparted to me, now I'm able to do the same for other people. Teach them how to do it so that they can make a living for themselves. While they learn and put food on their tables, it's not easy to sustain the craft making and grow into it. That's where this center becomes instrumental in their lives. We always identify a need to improve what they are doing because if you want to stay in the market, you must be competitive. So what happens with the crafters if they work on their own, they just keep the same product and they keep producing it over and over until the market is saturated. So what we do is we identify trends and then uh, we source funding and bring groups of crafters here to learn new skills and new techniques. Um, what the, the reason why we do that, once they've been trained and they've um, mastered the skills, we take their products and market them around South Africa. Many of the artists that have been encouraged and developed through the African Art Center have become well known in South Africa and internationally. Yulisan Jamela, CCTV, Durban, South Africa.